we are going to solve chapter 5 quadratic equation to this page number 111. Do this problem. It is given that find the roots of the following equations using factorization method. Here four quadratic equations are given. We have to find the roots by the factorization method. So first problem is x square plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. This is the given problem. To find the factors of this quadratic equation, we have to write middle term 5x as the sum of the two terms and if you multiply these two terms mean that means product of these two terms is equal to product of x squared term and constant term so the given equation is x square plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 in this middle term 5x is written as 3x plus 2x and their product 3x into 2x is written as 6x square so it can be written as x square plus 3x plus 2x plus 6 is equal to 0. In the first two terms, if we take out x common, then it can be written as x into x plus 3. And next two terms, if we take out 2 common, it can be written as 2 into x plus 3. So, it can be written as x into x plus 3 plus 2 into x plus 3 is equal to 0. In this, x plus 3 is common so we take out x plus 3 common and we can write it as x plus 3 into x plus 2 is equal to 0 now this can be written as x plus 3 is equal to 0 and x plus 2 is equal to 0 now we transpose plus 3 from lhs to rhs we can write it as x is equal to minus 3 and x plus in x plus 2 we transpose 2 from lhs to rhs we can write x is equal to minus 2 so therefore x is equal to minus 3 and minus 2 are the factors of quadratic equation x square plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 next second quadratic equation is x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 so to find the factors of the given quadratic equation x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 we write the middle term as sum of the two terms and their product is equal to product of x square term and a constant term so here the middle term is minus 5x so it can be written as minus 5x is equal to minus 3x minus 2x and their product minus 3x into minus 2x is equal to 6 x square so it can be written as x square minus 3x minus 2x plus 6 is equal to 0 in the first two terms x is common so we can write it as x into x minus 3 in the next two terms minus 2 is common so we take out minus 2 then it can be written as minus 2 into x minus 3 is equal to 0 in this equation x minus 3 is common so we take out x minus 3 common so remaining is x and minus 2 so it can be written as x minus 3 into x minus 2 is equal to 0 now we can write separately as x minus 3 is equal to 0 and x minus 2 is equal to 0 so now we transpose minus 3 from lhs to rhs then we can write x is equal to 3 and if we transpose minus 2 from lhs to rhs we can write x is equal to 2 therefore x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 2 are the factors of quadratic equation x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 next third quadratic equation is x square plus 5x minus 6 is equal to 0 this is the given quadratic equation to find the roots of this equation we have to write the middle term of this quadratic equation as sum of two terms and the product of these two terms equal to product of x square term and a constant so here the middle term is 5x so if you write 5x is equal to 6x minus x if you multiply these two terms we get the minus 6x square so the given quadratic equation is written as x square plus 6x minus x minus 6 is equal to 0 in the first two terms x is common so it can be written as x into x plus 6 in next two terms minus 1 is common so we can write it as minus 1 into x plus 6 so above equation is written as x into x plus 6 minus 1 into x plus 6 is equal to 0 in this equation x plus 6 is common so we take out x plus 6 common and the remaining is 
x minus 1. If we write separately, we can write it as x plus 6 is equal to 0 and x minus 1 is equal to 0. If we transpose plus 6 from LHS to RHS, we can write x is equal to minus 6 and if we transpose minus 1 from LHS to RHS, we can write x is equal to 1. Therefore, x is equal to minus 6 and x is equal to 1 are the factors of the quadratic equation x square plus y x minus 6 is equal to 0. Next, fourth problem x square minus 5x minus 6 is equal to 0 given. We have to find the roots of the quadratic equation. Then we have to write the middle term as sum of the two terms and their product is equal to product of x square term and its constant term. So, middle term minus 5x is written as minus 6x plus x. If you multiply these two, we get a minus 6x square. So, the above equation is written as x square minus 6x plus x minus 6 is equal to 0. In the first two terms, x is common, so we take out x, so we can write it as x into x minus 6. In the next two terms, 1 is common, so it can be written as plus 1 into x minus 6. In this equation, x minus 6 is common, so we take out x minus 6 common, then we can write it as x minus 6 into x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now we can write separately, then we get x minus 6 is equal to 0 and x plus 1 is equal to 0. If we transpose minus 6 from LHS to RHS, we can write x is equal to 6 and if we transpose plus 1 from LHS to RHS, we can write x is equal to minus 1. Therefore, x is equal to 6 and x is equal to minus 1 are the factors of the quadratic equation x square minus y x minus 6 is equal to 0. Please like, share, subscribe our channel for latest updates by pressing the bell icon.